American retirement is the largest emerging market in the Philippines in history. Our retirees have income from many highly reliable sources. The retirement market is driven by over 10,000 Americans reaching the age of 65 every day. These retirees will seek better services and reasonably priced housing as they utilize their retirement funds. The island generation is well positioned to capitalize on this mass redeployment of wealth with a solution in the Philippines. Who among us hasn't dreamt of spending our golden retirement years on an island paradise? At the island generation, our retirement community will be strategically located in the world's paradise of islands. One of our well thought out locations is the resort town of Tagaytay on the island of Luzon in the heart of the incredibly beautiful Philippine Islands. The Island Generation Project will be designed to provide affordable, American-style homes and amenities to fulfill and exceed retirement dreams of its residents for the rest of their active lifetimes. The Island Generation Vision encompasses a 300-unit, low-rise apartment condominium facility which embraces an active lifestyle, meeting the needs of healthy retirees as they enjoy comfortable, safe, and secure homes. Together with a variety of amenities and services, our resort-style community will be luxurious, but not expensive. Concentrating on such desirable amenities as are cost-effective to maintain, relaxing, and welcoming. Residents will be encouraged to utilize all amenities and services within the facility with options available to explore the beautiful Philippines and even beyond. In addition to unit-related occupancy income, each amenity offers potential for an additional profit center contained within the community. Certain investors may benefit from the increased cash flow via residents' spending within the community. To summarize, retirees will be able to avoid the crowded, overpriced retirement market in the United States and enjoy a way of life, amenities, and services they may not otherwise be able to afford. The Island Generation is designed to provide a stress-free retirement lifestyle where residents are primarily surrounded by other Americans in a safe setting, thus allaying fears about moving to a new country. This high-level overview of TIG's business plan outlines the critical steps our management and marketing company is simultaneously undertaking as follows. Contract with a reputable real estate company to capitalize and develop the project. We will work closely with our developer to build a highly desirable rental community in the Philippines that has a good return on investment and long-term, if not lifetime, positive effect on residents' retirement. Market the project primarily to Americans at the cusp of their retirement years. We will be marketing to the millions of Americans that want to lower their cost and also enjoy day-to-day -day amenities that are rarely affordable in the United States. Employ TIG's highly advanced proprietary marketing and management software and internet-based programs in order to secure occupants and manage operations. The Island Generation envisions a 300-unit complex consisting of multiple Spanish-style buildings with walk-through balconies for residents to enjoy the lush view. Buildings would overlook the pool and outside areas with a bird's-eye view. The pool areas would be serviced by our restaurant and bar to provide the ultimate in relaxation and enjoyment. Other sit-down and relax areas will include the koi pond where retirees can take the time to just enjoy the quiet parts of retirement. Each one of the island generation areas is designed to have retirees enjoy themselves at whatever pace they desire. Retirees also have easy walks through the courtyard of lush tropical plants and trees to access the restaurant, bar, spa, and other amenities. 
The flat style roofs provide us with strong structure to withstand nature, but also provide an additional way to utilize otherwise wasted space. These building tops will provide an oasis for gardening areas and dining. Samplers is a customized American multicultural restaurant which is based on a dim sum style concept. Many of the entrees will be Mark Burnett's own signature dishes. Retirees living in the facility will also have the opportunity to provide input about their own favorite dishes. The Hard Water Buffalo Bar will no doubt be a great hangout for retirees. This community bar will certainly be where everyone really does know your name. Convenience store or Sorry Sorry store where retirees can self-check out through our customized software. In-community medical and dental facilities will provide checkups as well as clinical level care. Equipped exercise room. Salon and spa offering beauty and massage services, together with whirlpools and a soothing atmosphere. Private small theaters that retirees can rent for watching football or movies individually or in groups. Maid and housekeeping services trained and bonded by TIG. Advanced camera surveillance for security purposes. Residents will be able to schedule medical appointments, maid service, reservations, and place orders at restaurant via their computers, tablets, or Android devices using our custom software. On the back end, the custom program software will handle all accounting, inventory, and rental space management. Mark Burnett and his team of programmers will design, develop, and program our proprietary software. According to the U.S. Social Security Administration, each day a whopping 10,000 people reach age 65 in the United States. And this is expected to continue for the next 15 years. Our business plan is largely based on this massive and continuous transition of Americans into their retirement years. The number of U.S. retirees will jump to 76 million, one quarter of the U.S. population, the largest number of retirees in U.S. history. After 15 years, all baby boomers will still be fighting for the same resources in the U.S., so the need for TIG will endure. Statistics from our website subscribers indicate that a majority of our retirees will be Filipino, American, or couples comprised of both nationalities, ranging from men ages 55 to 75 and women ages 40 to 75. Interest in, and indeed, the need for projects like TIG will skyrocket as costs of real estate occupancy, medical, and other services increase each year in the United States. After age 55, an increase in income is unlikely, and most retirees need to find ways to cut costs. Therein lies the problem in the United States. Cutting costs usually means having to lower your standard of living. At TIG, our overarching objective is to provide those retirees with a better, more affordable retirement future for the rest of their lives. TIG increases retirees' standard of living without increasing costs. The Philippines and the TIG solution provide an unparalleled combination of cost efficiency and community. A major frustration of retirees in the United States is that many retirement communities are age restricted, not allowing residents under age 55, thereby excluding couples with varying age differences. TIG will follow the Philippine Retirement Authority PRA, guidelines. Accordingly, as long as one family member can show a verifiable source of retirement income, other family members may be of any age. Alternatively, and also in line with PRA guidelines, if the retired individual does not have a regular retirement income, but can show substantial savings, they will also qualify. A 300-unit complex is the target project size because of the necessity to build enough so that rent, 
and or for sale units can generate acceptable cash flows and returns. The goal is to offer a rental price substantially under the U.S. rental market and to encourage all residents to spend additional money in TIG's restaurant and on other amenities, ideally resulting in $1,000 or more per month per unit of additional cash flow. Multiplied by 300 units, this equates a considerable amount of additional cash flow beyond rent. The cost of the pool and facility maintenance must be spread out among the units. Further, in order to support a restaurant and the other amenities envisioned, there needs to be sufficient utilization and support. That said, the number of units could be more or less than 300, the tally being subject to hard and soft construction costs, projected revenues and expenses, and acceptable investment returns. Initially, the restaurant bar and medical slash dental clinic will be basic, but with room for expansion. The same will apply to the salon slash spa and exercise facility. The only amenity that must, from the start, be built out in full will be the pool and or courtyard water amenities, as such would be difficult and very expensive to add later. The Philippines offers a diverse, English-speaking population. Being a former protectorate of the United States, this beautiful country shares many of the same Catholic values. Tagaytay is a resort community within relatively close proximity to Manila. In addition, as it is located at a higher elevation, it and the surrounding area enjoy a considerably more moderate climate. These are factors that Americans will find highly desirable. Additionally, our compound can be set back from the view in a more affordable land area that will provide a better ROI. The Philippines enjoyed a sustained GDP growth of above 6% for many years, including the crash of 2008 when it experienced the best growth in Asia. The World Bank has said the Philippines will enjoy solid growth in the years to come. China, Japan, and South Korea have given over $30 billion to the Philippines in 2017, with more to come. The President of the Philippines plans to invest $167 billion into the country's infrastructure. The rest of Asia and the USA want to be strong financiers to the Philippines. In the near future, this will create a great opportunity for our investors and retirees alike. Two-thirds of the Philippine population is under the age of 35, creating a large, underemployed work pool. Thus, there is an abundance of workers to choose from at affordable wages, many of whom have worked and trained in the United States. The Philippine Retirement Authority and certain of its retirement programs are specifically set up for American citizens providing a lifetime visa. Why the Island Generation name? Mark Burnett, a highly credentialed computer programming expert and creator of the project's vision and mission, and his real estate consultant, Tom C. Shaw, are among the 65 million retirees in the United States. Like so many others of their generation, they understand the dream of a tropical island home. Thus, the island generation, or TIG, name that evolved, made sense and is now trademarked for both its YouTube channel and future community in the Philippines. TIG also enjoys a high ranking on Google and YouTube with strong positive feedback. The next marketing investment will ensure domination of this concept, potentially resulting in deposits and signed rental and or purchase contracts prior to project completion. Our project will stand alone in the Philippines as the first semi-luxury retirement community of its kind, geared to retirees who desire an affordable American style of living. As the flagship facility fills to capacity, 
TIG will look to build sister facilities in the Philippines. TIG's management and marketing company has developed an unequaled internet-based marketing program to directly connect with retirees. Instead of investing huge sums in brochures and traditional marketing, TIG has taken a greener approach and created its own marketing channel, which is already reaching out to retirees and has generated in excess of 1.8 million views and thousands of subscribers. In addition, the TIG documentary and reality show has generated a group of retirees ready and anxious to secure units and move into the new facility as soon as it becomes available. Mark Burnett, creator and director, makes the show both exciting and dynamic, attracting viewers and making them into potential occupants. Mark's readily demonstrable technical skills, knowledge base, experience, Ideas and contacts will make it very hard, if not impossible, for competitors to reproduce a comparable community in the Philippines. Reality shows are very popular in the United States, with millions of viewers and faithful followers. We combine a reality show with marketing a particular product, it being the Island Generation Project. The audience will follow us to retirement in the Philippines, in order to be a part of the larger community and complex. Every step, from concept, building, grand opening, and then the life of those retirees that wish to participate in the continued saga, will be part of the show. Viewers want to be part of the experience, bringing along their pensions, social security checks, savings and investments, and thereby becoming not only residents, but also stakeholders in the project. There are other retiree channels focused on retiring in the Philippines, which receive millions of views. However, most offer no help with regard to housing or assistance in any other way. In fact, many of the vloggers really don't want anything to do with retirees directly. They don't want to get involved simply because they are only providing information and beyond their videos, not thinking of it as a business. At TIG, we're taking a different approach, seeing great potential in the thousands of retirees who want to make a decision, but need a more or less turnkey solution to retirement in another country. By way of our project, we can show them a way and place to go where they can get all the guidance they need and be able to afford it. Once they are part of the all-inclusive TIG community, they won't want to leave. As the main facility is constructed, we will be filming and presenting it to our target market. Based on other marketing efforts today, we reasonably believe we will receive frequent requests for various units as viewers see them emerging during the building process. Happily, even during the concept and initial due diligence phases, we've received numerous inquiries from people wanting to place deposits in order to be among the first to rent or purchase. Many have asked for assurances that they won't be left out. Film footage will be a soft sell approach where viewers get caught up in the fun and excitement of what is happening, begin realizing the potential, and want to live in TIG's community. The audience is already large and will grow exponentially. In addition, Filipinos living in the Philippines will recommend our TIG projects to friends and family currently residing in the United States. The usual concern is how to sell a product once created. However, at TIG, we are faced with the opposite dilemma. If we had units available now, we would already have occupants. We have viewers already emailing us on a steady basis many of whom have put off retiring to the Philippines until the facility is completed. Marketing-wise, we obviously enjoy a very good position. Hello, my name is Mark Burnett. As founder of the Island Generation, please know how much we sincerely appreciate your interest in our retirement community project for active American seniors. 
As demonstrated via the video you have just viewed, the number of Americans reaching retirement age grows exponentially every day. The majority are people with financial resources from pensions, social security, individual savings, and investments. For the variety of economic, geographic, and other factors highlighted during the video, we believe the Philippine Islands offer an unparalleled setting for active retirees currently residing in the United States. What we are seeking is a real estate developer, financer, partner with whom we can partner to create our pilot project in the Philippines. As yours is a premier real estate investment and development company, we would respectfully request an opportunity to enter into discussions with or view towards eventually securing a form of commitment to develop and build our project. Our role in the partnership will be to deliver tenants and unparalleled high-tech management and marketing services. Thank you for watching my video, The Island Generation for Developers. Now, I understand you're probably more of an investor, and that's why we're up here on the investment network. What we're looking to do on this side of the fence is raise money for our continued video production and also our software development, which will be a huge part of the entire facility and how it functions and how it works, and the management side where we bring all this together. The combination of what we're working on with developers in the Philippines and this combination of this investment here will be brought side by side and allow us to open the island generation facility. At least the first one. There's nothing to stop us from building many of these facilities and even building these outside of the Philippines. So wherever the market makes sense, that's where we're gonna apply our software, our management and marketing tool we already have. Keep in mind, I've got 1.8 million views already as, as this film is being made. And once I get on the ground in the Philippines and I start filming there and talking to different figures and uh, mayors and seeing the town and things like that, of where people would actually be at and watching the building get built, seeing the construction, meeting with the developers on the film, you get the idea. Okay, we'll be at 10 million views, and then who knows, sky's the limit. All those views are people that are interested, not only in the show, but they're interested in moving. I've already had people email me and say, hey, I'd be willing to put money down right now on a place uh, if you have it ready. So we're really at that unique position where we have people that want to purchase or rent uh, the facilities that we want to build, but we have to get, you know, the, the cart before the horse. So that's kind of where we're at. This is a good position to be in. It's an excellent position to be in. And obviously it's a huge market. So if you have questions, which I'm sure you will, feel free to email me up here. Uh, we're going to put a document level up here too, so you can jump into that. Uh, we're not doing too deep in the financials because a lot of this depends on who we partner with in the Philippines. I can't say who we're talking with right now, but good enough size companies that seriously could knock this out. The other avenue we might take, uh, if we feel that it makes more sense and we get investors that say, hey, I want to take you past this point, I'd be willing to put the money together for you guys to build the facility and I want in on that level as well as this beginning level that we have right here, that's fine too. Uh, we could take a different approach uh, to the developers and say, you know, well, here's an RFP, give us, kick us back a number, here's where we want to be, and put that together. So, in either way, we're extremely flexible. The important point is to supply as many of these facilities eventually as we can to as many retirees as we can that have guaranteed income, guaranteed pensions, that are doing pretty good here, but would do a whole lot better in the Philippines, and be able to stretch out their money because they live longer than they used to, right? Everybody's going in to be centennials. So you really got to stretch the money out further. That's not going to happen here in the United States. Um, a lot of them are going to get into trouble, health situations. We all know what's happening, okay? So it's the perfect storm in the United States for a problem to develop. And it's also the perfect island in the Philippines that has super growth. It's getting backed by China, South Korea, Japan, and is really working hard to attract uh, people to retire there. 
We're just giving them the community to go to. We're giving them a turnkey situation. So once you understand all that, you begin to understand how the investment would make total sense. Long term, it's going to have a good return. And I'm sure you're going to have questions. I'll try to answer all those questions via email. But also, if I get a lot of questions the same, I'll put another video up or I'll send you a video. Or we'll set up a private link on YouTube where the group can listen to that video. Understand, we're looking at raising $2.5 million here for the initial side of software development again. Uh, the management basically putting me on the ground and keeping me there filming uh, and, and perpetuating this show. But more importantly, the other aspect of this is that as we go down the road, we're going to merge in different ways with the developer. We're going to get money off that management uh, fee that we charge. We're going to be in the facility uh, making money in different aspects from that. All That all is going to come back uh, to the management company. So ask away your questions. Put up your proposals uh, as soon as the dollars get to where we feel we're going to go and if the developer jumps in a little early and says hey i'm ready to go and we don't need as many dollars we don't need to raise the full 2.5 we won't we'll take what we have now and we'll go with the developer if they're hot and ready to build and and go in that direction so whoever gets in early and whoever connects into this or whoever takes it to the next level i'm open appreciate it your time and look forward to your investment and being a partner.